Welcome to AgroWorks USA, where we explore how modern farming feeds the world. Chicken is the world's most consumed meat, with over 130 million tons produced each year. Add to that more than 1.5 trillion eggs laid annually, and it's clear, poultry is a global staple. But how do we produce so much, so fast, and at such low cost? The answer lies in industrialization. From automated hatcheries and climate-controlled barns to robotic slaughter lines and egg processing machines, nearly every step is now optimized for maximum efficiency. In this video, we'll take you inside the full production cycle, starting with egg selection and incubation, moving through growth, harvesting, and processing, and ending with distribution to markets worldwide. Along the way, we'll explore the ethical dilemmas and environmental costs that come with this level of scale. If you care about what goes into your food and what's behind the scenes, this journey is worth following. Like and subscribe to AgroWorks USA for more stories from the front lines of global agriculture. Every industrial chicken begins as a carefully selected egg. At large-scale hatcheries, high-speed scanners are used to inspect each egg, detecting and rejecting any that are cracked, misshapen, or underdeveloped, ensuring that only high-quality eggs enter the incubation system. These eggs are then placed into automated incubators like the James Way Platinum 2.0, capable of holding up to 120,000 eggs at once. Inside, the environment is meticulously controlled. Temperatures are kept between 37.5 to 38 temperatures sharing, and each egg is gently rotated every hour to mimic the behavior of a mother hen. Throughout the 21-day incubation cycle, digital sensors monitor humidity, temperature, airflow, and egg rotation. If there's any deviation, adjustments are made instantly to ensure consistent hatchability. On day 18, the eggs are transferred to hatching baskets, where the final stage takes place. By day 21, chicks begin to emerge, without ever coming into contact with a live adult bird. This highly controlled process transforms what was once a fragile, natural event into a precise, industrialized system. In modern poultry production, speed, consistency, and output are everything, because even a small increase in hatch rate can translate into thousands of additional birds and a major boost in overall profitability. Once hatched, chicks are quickly vaccinated and transferred to large-scale brooding barns built to support their early growth and health. These climate-controlled facilities can house tens of thousands of birds with carefully designed layouts for airflow, lighting, and easy access to food and water. During the brooder phase, one zero or four or six weeks, chicks are kept in warm, enclosed environments. Temperature, humidity, and ventilation are precisely regulated to minimize stress and promote development. LED lighting systems mimic natural daylight rhythms, while automated feeders and drinkers ensure the flock receives consistent nutrition and hydration. As the birds grow, they're moved to grow out barns, which are significantly larger, often spanning thousands of square meters. These open floor spaces allow for better movement, reduce overcrowding, and help limit the spread of disease. Bedding is monitored and replaced as needed to maintain cleanliness. Throughout both stages, digital monitoring systems track bird weight, activity, and health, allowing farmers to adjust feeding plans and respond to problems early. By week six to eight, chickens typically reach two to 3.5 kilograms and are transported to processing plants. What do you think about using sensors to monitor livestock growth? Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell to stay connected with AgroWorks USA. After reaching their target weight, chickens are transported to industrial processing plants, facilities where automation and speed are everything. These high-tech plants are designed to process thousands of birds per hour with precision, hygiene, and minimal human handling. The process begins with CO2 gas or electrical stunning, rendering birds unconscious to reduce stress and pain. From there, they move through a tightly choreographed system, throat cutting, bleeding, scalding, feather removal, evisceration, and final chilling. Advanced systems like those from MEYN can process up to 13,500 birds per hour, ensuring each stage meets strict standards for food safety and animal welfare. Along the way, high-speed cameras and sensors scan each carcass for bruises, deformities, or signs of disease. Faulty products are flagged and removed automatically, 
Once cleaned, chickens are grated by weight, then portioned and routed into value-added lines, marinated cuts, pre-cooked items, or frozen whole birds. Robotic arms handle packing, labeling, and palletizing, while centralized dashboards monitor every step in real time. This fully automated workflow reduces contamination risk, lowers labor costs, and ensures uniform export-ready products, often just hours after the birds arrive. While some eggs are destined to hatch, the vast majority are collected for human consumption, and that process is highly industrialized and optimized for scale. Every day, automated conveyor belts transport freshly laid eggs from poultry houses to centralized grading and processing facilities. There, eggs go through candling, a process where they're exposed to bright light to detect cracks, shell deformities, or internal defects like blood spots or double yolks. Eggs that pass inspection are automatically sorted by size and weight, then washed, sanitized, and packed using equipment like the Sonovo grader or Prin PSPC30, depending on the facility's scale and capacity. Rejected eggs aren't wasted. Instead, they're pasteurized and processed into liquid, frozen, or powdered egg products, widely used in baking, packaged foods, and commercial kitchens. Two main systems are used. Inline systems move eggs directly from laying to processing through closed conveyors, ensuring consistency. Offline systems collect eggs from multiple farms, introducing more variability in quality and timing. From laying to labeling, it's a fully mechanized, hygiene-focused journey built for volume, precision, and food safety. Were you impressed by the high-tech egg harvesting and processing system? If so, type one in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. After processing, the poultry supply chain enters its final stage, product transformation and distribution. Each bird yields multiple products, whole chickens, cut portions, marinated items, ready meals, and frozen goods. Meanwhile, eggs are delivered as fresh shells or processed into liquid, powdered, or frozen forms for industry use. Packaging is automated with machines sealing, labeling, and barcoding each item. Cold chain systems maintain freshness during storage and transit. Products are shipped to supermarkets, fast food chains, retail distributors, and export markets. High capacity facilities can dispatch thousands of pallets daily tracked via centralized logistics platforms. Efficiency is key. Automated warehousing, real-time inventory, and temperature control help minimize waste and extend shelf life. What begins as a fertilized egg eventually becomes a global commodity, cleaned, packed, and ready for homes, restaurants, and factories. This is poultry production at peak industrial scale. Industrial poultry is a massive global business. In the U.S. alone, chicken production generates over $40 billion a year thanks to low costs, fast growth cycles, and strong demand. Chickens reach market weight in just six to eight weeks, making them a go-to protein for fast food, retail, and exports. But the market is shifting. Consumers now seek organic, free-range, and antibiotic-free options. There's also growing interest in value-added products like marinated cuts, ready meals, and smart packaging. Egg production follows suit with rising demand for liquid, powdered, and frozen forms used in baking and processed foods. To stay competitive, producers must balance efficiency with ethics, quality, and sustainability. The future of poultry depends on adaptability, serving mass markets while meeting changing consumer values. Do you think today's production efficiency can be sustained in the future? Comment yes if you agree or share your thoughts below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the bell to stay connected with AgriWorks USA. Behind the speed and scale of industrial poultry lies a serious ethical and environmental cost. Chickens are often raised in overcrowded barns with limited space for movement or natural behavior. Selective breeding for rapid growth leads to common health issues like bone weakness, organ strain, and poor mobility. Ethically, practices such as artificial insemination and prioritizing yield over welfare have raised growing concerns. On the environmental side, poultry farms generate large volumes of waste, which can pollute soil and water if not properly managed. The industry also consumes significant energy for lighting, heating, and ventilation, contributing to its carbon footprint. Feed production, mainly corn and soy, drives deforestation and depletes natural resources, especially in large-scale monoculture systems. 
Although organic and free-range models offer more humane and sustainable alternatives, they still make up a small share of total production. The poultry industry continues to face pressure to balance efficiency with ethical and environmental responsibility. From high-tech hatcheries to fully automated processing lines, the industrial chicken industry delivers massive volumes of food at record speed. But chickens raised for profit often face cramped artificial conditions while the industry's environmental footprint continues to grow. So we ask you, can large-scale farming be both efficient and ethical? Or does the system need a fundamental rethink? We'd love to hear your perspective. Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive, make sure to like the video and subscribe to AgriWorks USA for more insights into how our food is made. And don't forget to turn on the bell icon so you never miss an episode. Thanks for watching and for being part of this important conversation.